This is the Nubia Red Magic 3, the original one. And this was my favorite gaming device of 2019. Now, before you come at me, yes, I've tried the Razer Phone 2, ROG Phone, as well as the Black Shark 2. Out of all of those, the Red Magic 3 was my favorite and remained in my collection. Enter 2020 and Nubia has released the Red Magic 5G. Now let's see what this device is all about. Let's do this! What is going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets and you already know why you're here, but let me just tell you real quick, I picked this device up off of redmagic.com for around $6.49. So let me drop the specs. So those specs look pretty darn good on the screen, but we'll have to put the device to use to see how this all pans out. Now taking a look at the packaging, uh, it's pretty darn awesome. I really like this and I think depending on either the color or the storage variant that you got will depend upon what type of box that you get. So um, I did scratch it up, opening it up, so that was my fault. But other than that, the box is in good condition and you just have red magic, but the back of the box has the specs, but we already know that. So we'll go ahead and get into the box. So here is the device. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that come in. And what I like about this is they're so organized with that, little boxes for every little thing. So you have your SIM ejection tool. Then you also have the manual as well as a warranty card. And then in this box, you have the power brick, simple power brick. And then in the last box, you will have the power cable. So just a red type A to type C. Here's everything that comes inside of the box. No earbuds, no earphones. Now here is the phone. I'll slide it out of the sleeve. This is the pulse color. I wanted something different. Right here, you'll notice there is a red textured game space toggle. Then you have a fan right here for cool air to come in, a mic, and then the pens to connect to the dock, which I did not pick up the 5G dock, but I still have the Red Magic 3 dock. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see if that will work a little later in the video. You have type C and then here is the speaker. Here is one of the shoulder triggers, your power button, then the up and down button. And here is where hot air comes out of. Then you have the other trigger. The top has the headphone jack and a microphone powering on the device. You have red magic. So here are all the terms and all that stuff, but the scrolling is smooth. Here's where I'm setting up uh, my new phone from my Galaxy Fold and it's easy like that. Um, I'll have to use my fingerprint to verify it is me. So it cannot take my work account, that's cool. I already set up the fingerprint sensor because I kind of just want to get into the gaming of the phone. Looking at the Red Magic 3, I noticed that there is one camera as well as a vent on the back. Let's go ahead and put them side by side to get a better look, but you'll notice a fingerprint sensor as well as a long RGB strip, but the new one only has the Red Magic that lights up. Here we see headphone jack as well as a headphone jack. So same placement at the top of the device on the side. The only difference is the vent on the newer device, the bottom of the device, same placement for everything. You have the speaker type C, the SIM tray. This side are, they're actually identical with the vents and the shoulder triggers, power buttons, volume. And here we go with the back again and sizing them up. The three looks slightly taller. Here is the dock from last year and you would use this for faster gameplay because you can hook up directly to the internet via uh, ethernet cable. So let's go ahead and see if the 5G will fit and will the dock work. So I have the bottom in, but let's check a look. See, now look at the top. The power button is slightly lower than that of last year. Well, I guess you can't win them all. So let's now take a look at the fingerprint sensor since I already set it up. 
and here we go and that was a pretty cool animation i hope you guys saw that and it opened up pretty quickly let's take a look at some of the settings and what i want to get into is the fan setting so here's some of the features of the fan setting and if you take a look you can enable and disable certain times that you want the fan to come on but we'll go ahead and just leave it there where it's at and here let's go ahead and take a look at the light setting so the red magic symbol lamp that's the little lamp on the bottom this right here and as you see it is lit and red is the only color choice there are nine different color variations for the red magic RGB so as you see here I chose one of them and it has that color but as well as a few different choices and options for the type of pattern that it lights up next I want to look at some details about the phone so red magic OS 3.0 we have the CPU of Snapdragon 865, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of ROM, and we are on Android 10 with the March 2020 security patch. Next up, we'll take a quick look at the camera and the camera settings. The main is a 64 megapixel shooter, but I'll take a few photos so you can kind of get a feel for how well or how not well the device takes photos and I'll do a separate video doing a point and shoot session so the people that wanna know how well the camera does, they'll get to have a look at that video. So taking a look at the shot I just took, um, you can see uh, it's okay, but like I said, I wanna spend more time with the camera and fix the settings like I want, but I'll go ahead and run the music and you can take a look at some of the pictures. First things first, let's take a look at the specs. Taking a look around the box, you have Motorola on the right side, nothing on the top, Motorola on the left, and then the back of the box gives you the contents of the box, this one piece of tape is the only thing keeping me from the device. There is nothing hidden in the lid. A lot of manufacturers tend to put cases and the booklets in the lid. Here's your SIM ejection tool, your manual. Here I'm showing you that the refresh rate is at 144 hertz. So what I'm gonna do in this next little clip lead. is kind of pan around quickly, as you lead. see I'm doing, and it's very, very smooth. What's that sound? Well, that's the sound of the fan working to keep the device cool. Going to game space, I'm going to select my next game, which is PUBG. All right. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Pro Trigger for this game. So the touch button is on, so you use the L and the R, and then vibration feedback is on. So here I have my L right now just on the fist because I don't have any weapons or anything. And then the R is like on nothing. So once I pick up a gun, I'll go ahead and uh, map these out to what I want. So basically I'm going to probably use one for aim and one for um, the trigger. So the L is probably going to be the aim and the R will be the trigger. So we'll wait to get a gun and then we'll come back and map these. So you see now that I have a weapon, I have the bullets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the R on the bullets and the L on the aim and everything else seems to be okay. So let me continue. Let's see. This is me pressing the left trigger and you see I aim and then if I was to hit the right, which I don't want to do right now just in case there's someone out, um, I will shoot the weapon. All right, let's go ahead, and I'm not sure if you can hear it if the microphone is picking it up, but uh, you can hear how loud the fan is actually going on this device. So it's coming out of the red side, and it is taking air in on the blue side. So here on the blue side, let's see if I can get this focused. All right. So it's the air is coming in in here, and the air is blowing out on the red side. And you can actually feel, feel it, and I'm sure you can hear it as I bring it up to the mic. All right, adding games to the game space, um, that's something that you probably want to do so that you have the options and choices that they give you in the game space. So what you'll have to do is go ahead and turn uh, this toggle on. Then you'll go to Add Games. So these are the games that's already in there, but so I'm gonna have to go through my apps and find um, the game. So let's see, I think, all right, no limits, join. So then when we come back out, you see no limits right here. So that's how you add a game to the game space. Wow, the speakers on this device are amazingly loud. They sound really good, but gameplay, gameplay on the Red Magic 5G is everything I expected and more. Just look how smooth the gameplay is. So you're gonna say, yeah, yeah, the gameplay was nice, but what about the temperature? What about the battery? Now. Playing all the three games that I played in one sitting, the device did warm up a tad bit, nothing uncomfortable to hold, and that is thanks to the help of the fan doing its job as you heard. So, um, and as well as if you do change the settings for the CPU and GPU, um, the device will tell you it may consume more battery. So that's up to you, you know, which option that you wanna choose for your gameplay. But I want to thank everybody for taking the time for chilling with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.